Morning YouTubers. <laughs> Just watching Dutch Urban Miners videos. Some five ton trucks were stuck and they were putting towels down and it worked. I guess they embed in the ice and the truck rolls over them. Just got to be real light on the clutch if they weren't even stick shifts. So I'm looking on Craigslist. My friend in Florida got to have another diesel Suburban. So I've been looking. He found one, a school bus one with roll down windows, vinyl seats and the single headlight, not the aerodynamic ones. So here's one in Lake Worth, Florida. Now what the heck is snow doing in Lake Worth, Florida? This is kind of interesting. This guy, wherever the heck he is, got snow on the trees, windshield wipers up in the air. The trees are just covered in snow. I see the reflection, I know. It's got Hummer, Hummer wheels with just plain old all-season tires. Looks like it has a tailpipe over there, which well, it's got the right orientation for the wipers. A lot of times you'll see pictures that are flipped in magazines so they get the truck pointing in the right direction. Anyways, watch this. Craig just has a new feature when you move over the picture. I got my cursor up on the left. Watch this. Watch this. Whoop. Snow. Dry. It's kind of interesting. He's got the exact same angle. I don't know if he planned that, but this truck's got the Chevy three-quarter ton wheels painted black and no tailpipe. That's what it did look like. This is what it does look like. This is an old picture because the fog lights are also gone, I just noticed. You can't tell on the, the computer. You can right-click on stuff, but it doesn't always show the picture. He's got something on the roof here. Looks like two little steering wheels. What's it got in the sunny day picture? Well, he's got a Ford Expedition or whatever Explorer in the background. It's kind of interesting. He's asking $4,500 a diesel four-wheel drive. No fog lights, nothing on the roof, just looking good. Doesn't have a tag here either. This picture has a tag right there, just behind the front wheel on the top of the fender. We've got a rack in the back for luggage. It's got dual exhaust. Wait a second. It's got an exhaust pipe over there. Hmm. Different truck. Running boards. This is really weird. Huh. That's kind of a little badgy thing. Oh, there goes the phone. Apartment for rent. Alright, where were we? Oh, yeah. So he's got something hanging down here. Got fog lights and fog lights, and you can't read the tag because it's covered in ice. Got fog lights on the roof rack. He's got some Eskimo here in a parka. Maybe he's in Michigan. I don't know. There's that tailpipe again on the driver's side. It should be one tailpipe off the turbo on the passenger side. I don't know. Got a monster trailer hitch. Got bike rack or a luggage carrier plus the trailer hitch. Yeah, there's that tailpipe. Right there. 258,000 miles, which is 400 and change thousand kilometers. Got a little crappy sticker here. says 4x4. Four from the dollar store. It's a tailgate model, which I prefer. It's got the crappy Chinese taillights, LEDs, who knows what they are. Hummer wheels. Hmm. Yeah, got the Hummer wheels and contact continentals. What else we got here? Uh, got an El Camino. I looked at the completed listings on eBay. Here's a 64 in McFarland, California. A 64 El Camino kills me. This already sold for $8,259. But you never know how much somebody would have paid. What a nice 64 El Camino. It's got the original. You can't move the cursor because it flicks to the next picture no matter what you do. 283 two barrel with aftermarket air conditioning. Got that huge air conditioning compressor but I got a point with my finger. Got the huge air conditioning compressor. That needs to go for a sand in Japanese. Original bench seat with under dash air, just power steering, power brakes, plain Jane El Camino. But a 64, my favorite year, in turquoise, looks shiny. Looks pretty good. I don't know what the black thing is on the. Oh, it's the hide the license plate. What the hell are they worried about? They got it showing in the back. Here's a 65 Riviera. Hard to see. What a sweet ride. Hope it's a little faded. Anyways, it's sold. But I'll read the blurb to you. 64 El Camino, two owner car, original 283 with Paraglide. That goes, and we put a 6.2 in with a 5 speed. 
Is it a Borg Warner transmission or a Saginaw? I forget. The ones they put in the Camaros in the 80s with a shifter from an S10, so it moves the shifter forward towards the bell housing. Less than 50,000 miles. Car was purchased from original owner. Has under dash AC, new brakes, and American torque thrust wheels and tires. This car is clean, clean, clean. Even have original camper shell if wanted. This car can go anywhere reliably and always gets people looking. Come see for yourself. 48,000 miles. Yeah, put a 6.2 diesel on that. The one I got from, uh, what was his name again? Uh, Wayne, the diesel stop. Piss on Jap scrap. There's also another one that I saw. 95 Silverado pickup, gas job, Suburban, there was another one on eBay, uh, here's one I'll show you, just a minute, there's one on El Paso, just a second, El Paso, right on the Mexican border, let's look at BMW, BMW, and we'll put a price in of 6500 as a maximum price and a minimum price of 5500. Let's see what pops up. Yep. 2004 BMW 325 XI wagon, just 5998. Central El Paso. And you click on it, and the price is 6398. But it shows that it was posted 122,000 miles in great condition. It's an all-wheel drive, station wagon, 5-speed. And that is rare. Black with black leather. And this guy doesn't answer his phone or text messages. He vaporized. He's got a dent in the hood. Got one dent there, maybe, or reflection. One dent there. Needs a turn signal. Big deal. Nice black leather and a 5-speed, the three-pedal model. You can barely see it there, but it's a 5-speed. Most of the all-wheel drives are automatic, and not too many were station wagons. Yep, there it is, 5-speed. So anybody in El Paso want to look this guy up? He vaporized. Just look up El Paso BMW XI, capital XI. But in lowercase, doesn't show up, I think. Yep, I don't know what happened to this guy. And there was also a 67 El Camino in, uh, on Craigslist. No, eBay, rather. eBay, eBay.com. And eBay Motors, Cars and Trucks. I got the police guy coming over from my wonderful neighbor that uh, went plowing. He shouldn't have been plowing there at all. What he could have plowed was in front of the warehouse where I go in and out, and he knows that. He's been there and often enough. He's plowing the side, which he never should have been on, pushing snow off the road, gouging up. Oh, hang on a second. 1964. 64 to 67. Gouging up the, the earth and the grass and piling it up for half an hour with his bucket loader. No idea what was on this guy's mind. Anyways, here's a 64 El Camino, 283, 220 horsepower, 4 barrel. One family owner, rust free, 36,000 miles. The bidding's already at $8,500. Wow, what a beauty. In Chesterfield, Missouri. Wow. Thanks for checking out my El Camino. You won't be disappointed. I got it from the nephew of the first owner, told me full history. 36,000 miles, lacquer paint 20 years ago. Not perfect, impressive shine, open and closed, high performance, blah, 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 blah. What a beauty. 64. And there is five days to go, and the bidding's already at $8,500. One family owned, original, rust free. It shows. Guy wants to trade for a 69 Camaro. Ugh, never liked those. Got some good pictures. Look how nice that is. What a sweet ride. I always wanted a red and red one, like the one I found in Sacramento, but well, it's got snaps. Somebody made holes in the bodywork. Yeah. Got aftermarket windshield wipers with a little flipper on them. Very common aftermarket period accessory. I've got tons of them. Chrome ones and bland ones. Got dual exhaust. It's 
got the proper backup light in the stop light as opposed to in the bumper like the station wagon. Hard to believe Chevy would change something as simple as that. Got some nice pinstripes. 283 Power Glide. I'd put a 5 speed in it. Bumper guards. 64 El Camino. Look how clean that is underneath. Think that floor is like brand new? Pfft. Ugh. Bidding's already at 8500 bucks. Gonna sell for 14000 Another 64 El Camino. Morganton, North Carolina. This guy has zero feedback. CB Marver. Zero. He's a fresh boy on the block. Bidding's already at 5200 with four days to go. Here's the best of both worlds. Sporty and responsive like a Chevelle, while at the same time can be used as a hauler ready for work. 327 automatic, power brakes, Edelbrock performer, HE ignition, headers into throaty to exhaust, air conditioning. The interior remains stock with addition of SunPro TAC auxiliary gauge, stereo cassette, a fine addition. Well, it's got some 350 with the alternator mounted way up high and sand in compressor. I don't like that alternator where it is. It's got power brakes. Rhino lined junk. Decent interior, probably a power glide, holes in the door panel, yuck. No, no good, red line tires, good from far. Nice red, but not interested, I'll put it on my watch list anyways. Anybody in El Paso? Let me know.